Welcome, everybody. This is the Life Enthusiast Online Radio and TV Network. I'm your co-host, Scott Patton, and joining us, as usual, is Life Enthusiast Health Coach Martin Patella. And today we're continuing on the Exula line, and we're going to be talking about Iridesa. And Martin, why is this something that everybody should be taking? Because it's a very important superfood. I don't know that everybody should be taking it. We're talking about Iridesa. Iridesa is the crowning achievement of the development that Javari Oberon embarked on back in 1988. He launched this thing in 1996. And it was the, the pinnacle of, of, well, what do we call it? About eight years of serious research. And... Uh, the Iridesa has over 330 individual discrete ingredients in it. It's probably the most complex thing that you'll find on the market. He himself called it the most complete nutritional master blend supplement. And these words are actually each one of them carefully chosen. Master blend, as in masterpiece of something like when you really have mastered some thing some skill well he definitely did master to nutritional blending and this is a really a crowning achievement it's it has been a template against which great many competitors have tried to work and what's interesting about the iridesa is that it has meaningful amounts of every ingredient in it. It's really easy to put together something where you can mention an ingredient. Like, I have this, and I have this, and I have this, and I have this. But then when you look at the actual specific weights of these things, you'll find out that it's mostly something inexpensive, 80% of that, and then the last 20% is the other 50 or 60 ingredients all jammed into the small amounts. So it's not expensive to make, but it sounds really sophisticated. Iridesa is not like that. Iridesa is made functionally. And it's, to, for me to best describe it, it's like this. When you think of music, you could play music on a string quartet two violins, a viola, and a cello. Four people, and they can make some really awesome music. Chamber, four-string quartet. Now imagine that this thing is the core of the symphonic orchestra. You have violins and violas and cellos, and you have a whole bunch of other instruments. A typical symphonic orchestra is something like... Uh, 150 or so people and then you can add a choir on top of it when you're putting on something like Beethoven's Eroica or something like that when you want to put in the Ode to Joy on not only do you need the whole symphonic orchestra you need to plug in a choir on top of it Iridesa is a lot like that the other metaphor I would like to use for you to understand is this. When you are lighting a stage, you can light it with uh, five or six lights and a couple of spotlights to highlight something. Works great. Iridesa is not like that. Iridesa is like you go in there and you flip every single light switch on. All of it, it's all turned on in a balanced manner. So what you're looking at now is a bloody long list of ingredients. And it includes vitamins, minerals, trace elements, phytonutrients, as in from plants, essential fatty acids, fibers, amino acids. All of this wild crafted when possible. So from nature, it's a vegetarian product. It's all from, from plants. So this time, the Saccharomyces mix is a list of about 
30 items, not just three. Um, and there are oligosaccharides and isoflavones. And there's the sunflower lecithin that mixes the, uh, holds the whole thing together. The royal jelly is importantly present. That stuff that the bees make for the, uh, for their queen. In a human, royal jelly is going to revive you like nothing else. And all the greens. And then there's the module from Amazonia. We have products that have grown in various extreme places on the planet. What you'll find is that a lot of these components are grown in extreme places, like, for example, high altitude, like maca or other plants that are grown in 13, 14,000 feet of altitude. Or we have stuff that comes from Yukon or Sweden or some other near, nearly polar growing conditions where these plants have to struggle hard against nature. And when they're growing in very stressy environments, they become highly resilient. And the nutrients that they pass on to us improve our own resilience. Like, for example, one of them is astaxanthin from algae. Astaxanthin is the pigment that makes salmon and trout red. And it's that store of energy. It's an antioxidant. It's a store of energy that allows the salmon to swim upstream a thousand miles. So we have a mix of the classic vegetation, like vegetables, you know, the tomato, red pepper, and, uh, and uh, parsley, and the ordinary things, cabbage and broccoli and beets and celery. We put those in there. But we also put in the more exotic stuff like uh, lutein from marigold and and blue green algae, phycocyanin, and uh, and we put in nori and zeaxanthin, and we'll put in things like nopal cactus and Icelandic kelp and uh, Irish moss. It's really a long list. I, I think it would be totally boring if we try to put the whole thing in here but it has a lot of stuff in it every time someone calls me and says hey have you guys thought of such and such ingredient they say yeah it's in there you know noni juice or goji berry or moringa leaf or stuff like that it's it's all present martin i was at a uh, health conference many 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 years ago put on by david wolf and he would bring these people up and they would talk about this one ingredient and how amazing it was for 40 minutes and i would run back to my room and i would get my iridesa out and i would look at the ingredients and there it was there was nothing in those four days 12 hour days that they were talking about that you hadn't already incorporated into the Iridesa product. I was so amazed because, I mean, I didn't know what all the ingredients were. So you'd hear this person getting up and they're talking about how great this is. And I'm like, wow, like I got to get some of this. And then I go look at the bottle. I've been drinking it for two years. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, for example, black cumin seed, right? Famous. Of course, it is 3,000 years of history or fo tea, or ho shou wu, which is the Chinese super ingredient, or maca, or centella, which is, um, there's another name for it. I oh, can't think of it right now. It's a very common anti-stress ingredient, really important. And things like sao palmetto, and tonkat ali, and banaba, and ginseng, Siberian ginseng, you know, one of them is called uh, Eleuthero. Rhodiola is in here. Tribulus is in here. Astragalus is in here. Echinacea. We have collected the herbs that support all of the glands 
and all of the organs. So if you want to support your liver, you will find liver support in here. You will find cardiovascular, heart, and circulation support in here. You will find pancreas support, kidney support. Each of the organs, all of the important ones, is supported in this product. We also have some components that improve your body's ability to shut off abnormal cells. So if anything has the temptation to switch to fermentation, it's brought back online or shut off. Cool. So Martin, if someone is starting off with Iridesa, like what would one tablespoon, two tablespoons, what would you recommend for the average person if they want to try this and, and see what it does for them? So speaking of average person, I had a 24-year-old guy order this and the spirulina blend. So he took a tablespoon of iridesa and a tablespoon of spirulina, and then he went out for a run. He wrote to me this, this whole litany. He said, I went out for a run three miles, came back. Uh, I did push-ups and burpees uh, for another half an hour, could not wear myself down, could not shut down the abundant energy that I felt. On the other hand, I had a guy, 50-something, 50 55-year-old executive type, called me and said, you know, I'm, my blood pressure is rising and I have some allergies. I want the best. And I said, you don't want the best. I would like you to start with XLA 50. And he said, no, no, no. I want the top of your line. I said, okay, get the Iridesa. But listen, start slow. Work into it. On the bottle, we say, first day, take only quarter teaspoon. We want you to just get your body to hear what all is in here because it'll start turning on things that may be unpredictable. We bring people to half a teaspoon in three days, whole teaspoon in another three to five days. The normal dose here is two to three teaspoons. Anyway, this guy was taking three teaspoons, which is a tablespoon, and called me in probably four weeks, three weeks probably, and said, I've never felt better. I'm feeling fantastic. This is great. Allergies are gone and uh, my hair is coming in black again. And then he called me after three months, and he said, I don't know what's going on. I My blood pressure is through the roof, and I am um, feeling terrible. I said, yep, you're detoxing. You are overdriving your system. You're pushing yourself too hard. And that was the story on the taking too much, too soon, too fast. Iridesa can do that because it's like it's like driving your car with fuel that's too good before you give it a tune-up, right? You, you can burn out the engine by pushing it too hard. Uh, Iridesa is like that. So, so one, one of the things I got out of what you said, Martin, was if someone's 50-odd years old, they have at least 49 years of eating poorly and being in toxic environments, physically, mentally, emotionally, and all that stuff is stored in their body. And if you give your body a lot of really good nutrition, it's going to do what it's supposed to do, which is heal and detox, which means letting go of all these things that are being held in our fats and in our in our bodies that we've eat, you know been there for decades and if you want to do a hard detox and feel awful and sick but know you're getting this out as fast as possible good for you but we would recommend that you do it at a gentle pace so that you're not feeling miserable and you're actually living life and feeling you know a lot of vitality which you don't necessarily feel if you're in the midst of what looks like a really really bad flu Yep. There is a uh, there is a recorded talk with one of our customers on uh, on the podcast. He has been on uh, Iridesa 
since 1996. And he says, Martin, don't you ever stop making it. I said, I can't guarantee you I may, I may die someday. And he says, well, please don't die before me. <laughs> he wants us to never, ever run out. He's willing to go extreme distance. He said, if ever you need money or whatever you need, call me. I just don't want you to ever run out. Well, I feel the same way. Absolutely. All right. So the Iridesa has had this reputation. It's been around. It's now for 27 years, 28 years. And um, it's, it's still the best, really. You know, there are now more competitors. There are other blends out in the market that are somewhat similar. But they're not quite quite like that. One other thing is I encounter is people asking, well, it's expensive or tell me it's expensive. Well, it's about a dollar a teaspoon. So um, I don't know if, if you compare it to any other snack, it's not really that expensive. The other thing is this. If you try and buy all the ingredients, and I've tried that, I've gone to a store and started shopping the list of the Exua and putting it into a shopping cart. I was about halfway down through the list when I was at over $400 to put it back together. So at even $150 where it is right now, it's, it's a bargain, really. It really is. And the question is always, you know, how important is your health to you? And unfortunately for many people, it's not important at all until they don't have it. And then they spend a fortune trying to fix whatever the problem is or wherever the health issue shows up. So uh, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, as someone once said. And Exla is going to be a big part of you living a vital, vibrant life for until you stop <laughs> which hopefully yeah. is many many decades away right yeah i want our customers to die in uh, skiing accidents at 97 years old Absolutely. Not, that, not that i wish a skiing accident on anyone but what i'm trying to say here is that i want you to be able to go full strength until the last day of your life not coasting for the last 20 years in a wheelchair drooling staring right. at the wall blankly like my grandma seven years in a home yeah cool well thank you martin for taking time out of your busy day to share this with everybody and with me and thank you everyone for joining us we look forward to seeing you on our next episode this has been the life enthusiast online radio and tv network Restoring vitality to you and the planet. Bye for now. Bye-bye.